So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can actually utilize Google Bard to create an awesome article for your blog. Now, this isn't just any old article. The thing with creating content utilizing something like Google Bard is this. Google makes Google Bard. Okay, so that's one of the benefits that we actually have here is that Google actually make Google Bard. And when it comes to these large language models like Google Bard, ChatGPT, Claude.ai, etc. What they're basically doing is they're taking on board so much information from all over the internet, from all manner of data sources, okay? Now, one of the things that they actually do is they understand human language. So we need to be able to speak to Google Bard very much like a human. Okay, so if we were asking a question of, let's say, a friend, but a friend with massively in-depth knowledge. Okay, so this is what we got to think about. Like if we're, we're communicating with a friend and we're asking them to actually create something for us. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing here with Google Bard. We're going to be asking Google Bard to help us come up with some keywords, first of all. And then we're going to get it to help us create an outline of a piece of content. And then we're going to get it to help us write that piece of content. Okay. So what we're first going to do is I've got a, I've got a couple of prompts here for you that you can grab. Okay. So you'll find them down below uh, this video. So the first one, can you give me a list of commercial intent keywords for the niche and then insert your keyword, which adhere to the golden keyword ratio and have a keyword difficulty of under 20. Okay. So very simple here, a list of commercial intent keywords. That basically means keywords with, with the intent, somebody searching for it is looking to purchase or buy. Okay. And then insert niche. So we're going to insert our main keyword here or our main niche topic keyword. And then we're it says, which adhere to the golden keyword ratio. This basically means searches under 250 that uh, are easier to rank for and that have the keyword in their titles of your competitors only a few times, okay? So we're also then going to ask it to find these keywords, but make sure that the difficulty of ranking that keyword is under 20. So we got a keyword difficulty of 0 to 100. Closer to 100, obviously, is more difficult. So under 20 is quite easy to rank, okay? So we can put anything in here at all. So let's put in dog's pajamas. And what's going to happen is Bard is just going to come and give us a list of keywords related to the search that I've just made. Okay, so here are some commercial intent keywords uh, for niche dog pajamas that adhere to the golden keyword ratio and have a keyword difficulty under 20. Okay, and what you're going to notice here is that... Um, Google, when, when it comes to when it comes to keyword research with Google, it's obviously going to be better, guys. It's trained on more specific data related to keyword searches as well. Okay, so when we're searching on Google Bard, we realize that we have all of the knowledge that Google has. Okay, within this amazing AI. So. The next thing to do is actually go down through these keywords and choose one of the keywords that you'd actually like to use. As you can see here, it gives us a big list of keywords. So machine, washable dog pajamas, affordable dog, sustainable, organic, hypoallergenic, waterproof, winter dog, Christmas dog pajamas. And then at the bottom, it says the golden keyword ratio is a rule of thumb that suggests that a number of words in a keyword should be about twice the number of words in the search query. So that's actually not correct, okay? So that it there is wrong in terms of what it's actually saying, okay? But the keyword difficulty is what they say here. Keyword difficulty is a measure of how difficult it is to rank for a particular keyword. A keyword difficulty of under 20 means that it's relatively easy to rank, okay? So look, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to grab one of these keywords. Let's say this machine washable one, okay? Now we're going to use our second prompt here, okay? Uh, we're just going to paste that in there and we're just going to copy that and we're just going to paste it in here as well. Okay. And what it basically says is PYJA pajamas. Um, so using the keyword 
machine washable pajamas, create an outline for an article using the following criteria include a title tag and a meta description that entices the reader to search a uh, reader on the search engine to click use ellipses in the meta description along with ensuring the main keyword is included in the article ensure that it semantically covers all aspect of the targeted keyword along with people along with any people also ask queries from the google search you will also include related lsi keywords and specific entities related to the topic you should look to create an in-depth article that not only covers the topic, but adds an immense value to not only the reader, but the search engines. Okay, so we've gone through. This is a this is a quite a cool SEO prompt I created, okay? So what it basically is doing, it's going to create us an outline following the keyword criteria that we give it. It's going to create a title tag and a meta description that entices the reader to actually click on it, okay? It's also going to cover all aspects of the target keyword so all of the things that need to be covered within that target keyword it's going to cover that so it's going to create the outline covering that it's also going to look at any people also ask queries they're just the, they're the search queries when you actually search on google and you see a list of questions it's going to look at those as well and what it's also going to do is it's also going to include any related lsi which are related keywords to the specific keyword machine washable dog pajamas and it's also going to uh, include specific entities related to the topic. So critical, vital information that needs to be included in our topic to ensure that it ticks the boxes within the Google search engines for our content. Okay. And so you should look to create an in-depth article that not only covers the topic, but adds immense value to not only the reader, but the search engines. Okay. So let's let's give this one a, a, a whirl or a whiz or a whirl. Yeah, it's probably a whirl. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It's going to produce an amazing outline. It always does, okay? So first off, the best machine washable dog pajamas for a comfy night's sleep. Okay, that's great. Um, looking for the best machine washable dog pajamas for your furry friend. Machine washable dog pajamas. You see our keywords are included in here. Here's some of the top rated options along with tips on how to choose the right ones. Then we got our introduction. Great. Uh, introduce the topic machine washable, blah, blah, blah. Body. All right. So what we'll have to do with this here is we'll have to take the we'll have to take these sections one by one. Okay. Now we've got LSI keywords, a list of great related keywords. We've got entities, dog, pajamas, machine washable, comfort. Okay, so great things in there. This is just a basic outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it, can you create a more in-depth outline? Okay, great. So as we can see, it's gone. It's, it's added some more elements within here. So we've got our introduction. We've got our body, which is loads of points in here. And then we've got our conclusion and our keywords. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is if you're happy with what it actually has here, you can change elements if you want. You could say, hey, could you update it on this, 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 and this, whatever it is, whichever section, your introduction, your body. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this prompt here. And just say, can you write an amazing attention-grabbing introduction using an emotional-based hook to grab readers in, ensuring that you cover all points outlined in the introduction? Okay, and we're just going to click enter. And what it's going to do now is it's going to actually start creating um, our outline for us. And let's actually put it into here. So let's create a new new document. Now we're just going to call it a test article. The pajamas. Okay. Let's see. All right. Now we've got this. So let's copy this and see what we have in here. Okay. So do you want your dog to sleep soundly and comfortable all night long? If so, then you need to get them a pair of machine washable dog pajamas. Machine washable dog pajamas are a perfect way to keep your dog warm and cozy at night without having them to worry about getting wet or dirty. In this article, we'll discuss the benefits of machine washable dog pajamas. Right, so, all right, so it's grand. Like, it gives us a little hook in there. It basically, oh, you want your, your furry friend to be happy, okay? One of the things that I want to want you to notice here, this 
Now, this is very common in all generative AIs, and it annoys me, but it is very, very important for you. By even utilizing this keyword in this article, or in this post, or in this blog post, what it does is it it feels very artificial intelligency. So I want you to I want you to realize this, and I want you to take that out. Like it's also like so we got in this article, for example, for instance. Um, in conclusion, for uh, furthermore, moreover, these kind of keywords that you'll see with machine readable or uh, artificial intelligence created content, I want you to remove from your uh, from your piece of content okay so we're just going to put in uh we will discuss the benefits all right so that just kind of um and you could even say we will we'll talk about the benefits look and so that that is that is more human like that's putting your own little bit on there so once you're happy with your introduction let's move on to the next part okay uh So what we can do is like, okay, let's move on to a look at body section one. Let's create uh, with the intention to really educate. So we're going up to body. List and discuss some of the best machine washable pajamas on the market. Okay, so what we're going to do is with AI content, it's best to take it one step at a time. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, just put it in and then create a piece of content. That's not the way to create a great piece of content. Great piece of content is actually taking your time and going through each piece of the outline. And that's going to ensure not only that you get more in detail content, but that the content is just of a higher quality. Okay, because AI has a tendency to just pass over things and kind of finish the job. It's, I, it's something to do with them saving energy. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look at body section one. Let's create uh, with the intention to really educate the reader on each of the points mentioned. Ensure that the section has an opening paragraph and each point has at least two paragraphs associated with it. Okay, benefits of machine washable pajamas. Okay, opening paragraph. Benefit one, benefit two, benefit three. Okay. Boom. So there we go. We've got a we've got a good body section one. Okay. Now what we do is we go and we say Okay. Let's move to body section two. And then body section three. And then body section four. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go down through the content created actually for you in the best way possible okay so look as we go opening paragraph factor size material style features okay and all we're doing when we're getting this like again we just put it in here like if there's a three i didn't even check if there's a three let's say there's a three we put it in there and again you see what it's doing is opening for us with an opening paragraph then it's creating elements for us okay how to wash machine washable dog, step to pre-wash stains, wash the pajamas, dry the pajamas. Okay, so we're getting a really in-depth article here. Okay, so what you do is once you've, you're happy with the piece, you're just going to copy and paste it into your Word document here. All right. Now, what we've got here is finally. I finally, let's create our closing paragraph, ensuring that you wrap everything up, mentioning the key points from each section, reselling the benefits of each part, and then encourage the reader to take action on what has been discussed and offer a final bit of advice related to the topic. And what we're going to get here is a, a lovely end part to our content. Sure, closing paragraph. And again, look at that. I love that. Now, you're going to change it from closing paragraph to final thoughts or something like that. Um... Paste it in there. Okay, and I always put in final thoughts. Final thoughts, and then I'd H2 tag it. Okay, now, to take that even a step further, you have all the information on LSI keywords. Uh, you can add those elements in there as well. Uh, you can even ask, once you've got your piece of content created like this, you can even ask Bard to update it 
with these keywords actually entered in naturally. Okay, so look, I really hope uh, you enjoyed this quick tutorial on um, how to utilize Google Bard to create an amazing piece of content for your website that's going to rank. Okay, it's going to rank, guys, okay, which is absolutely wonderful. I love Google Bard. It is pretty much my my new go-to place. So, look, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, you'll find a link to this prompt down below uh, the comments as well. So let me know what you think. If you're new here, I'm Kieran Doyle. Thanks so much for watching my video. Uh, I help people get started online with business in an easy, straightforward, predictable manner. Um, so give the video a like if you've liked it. Hope that you subscribe and please leave me a comment as well. And I'll talk to you in the next video as well.